and welcome to the Hoof GP. I'm obviously not Graham Parker. It's the Cream Ball with Takeover. Say hi, Lola. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't done it already, smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Roll the intro. Here I am, waiting for Graham as usual, and he's already running late. Normal for Graham. Finally, Graham arrives. Morning. Morning. Only four minutes late. Craig is my brother-in-law, employee, partner in crime, but most of all, he's my friend and we work fantastically well together. I really think we complement each other in all of the best ways possible. We're now in a routine where no matter what farm we're going to, we know exactly what each other's jobs are to do. So we just crack on with the job and don't really need to confer. You're joining us on our Wednesday morning. We started at quarter to seven and this is our first farm of the day. They milk around 300 organic Holstein Frisian cows and they do a fantastic job of doing it. This farm has fantastically well kept feet. The vast majority of what we're doing this morning is just routine preventative care, just like you guys visiting the dentist. By the way, we don't have any face masks because someone it was me left all the face masks on the side of the crush yesterday and we lost them. We're closing our eyes as we trim though for safety. I used to work in construction for about four years and uh, I used to love it. Good money, great people to work with, but I love being in the cow industry. <laughs> or the dairy industry. Different farms every day. You get to socialise with different people every day. It's not the same monotonous thing over and over and over and over and over again. As much as you would think it would be trimming cow's feet, but there's a lot of problems that happen on a farm. And it's awesome to work with my brother-in-law, Graham. He really is a nice guy. I know he doesn't look that way on camera. He kind of hmm, yammers on a bit. Anyway, time to get some cows in. Hey, come on, lass. Come on. Up, up. This was by an existing block, so I think we've trimmed around four weeks ago by the look of the trimming marks on the actual foot itself. So it's interesting to see whether or not she's completely healed. Don't think she is by the look of it though. Bovi bond doing its job perfectly. This is an Excel block, and the difference between Excel and regular blocks is the Excel block has got a much harder compound, so it barely wears at all. So after four weeks of solid use on concrete, there's zero wear whatsoever, and she clearly still needs a block. Good job, Bovi bond. This lesion has clearly been much worse. It's come all the way around here last time, which is why there's so much separated sole on. So it's definitely improved, but clearly not healed.
That's trimmed out really, really nicely. I'm confident this one's going to heal up. Maybe not the next time, but it will heal up. This is our true daily job. Routine trimming cows and trimming cows like this, which we're revisiting to make sure that they continue to heal. We see cows like this every single day. So we're pretty sure what the results will be by the end of our treatment plan. This foot's pretty much perfect, I'm not going to touch it. Mostly this cow's probably in here because of the block on its back foot. And if I touch any of this foot, I'm going to make it worse. I'm going to drop it. In general, the way it works is Craig goes and gets the cows, brings them up behind the chute, and I trim the rear feet while he inputs all of the details and starts on the front feet. But for the purpose of the Craig bot with the takeover, he's trimming some back feet today. This is what happens when Craig forgets a number. 93, I think it is. What did you do there? I forgot the cow's number. We forgot to input the number. See? We, we, we. There's no I in team. Here's a new one for you. I've never shown you this before. So this cow had tonicrosis. That is pretty much fixed, and we're going to replace this block with a new one. We're going to replace this with a new block, just to ensure that this doesn't go backwards. It has actually completely healed, but, but this is still soft. So we're going to replace this block with a brand new one, so that this has time to thicken up. But that's not what's new. You've seen that before. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see that I put two blocks on a cow in a different way to usual. And this is the same cow. So look, she has two bovi blocks on here. Why would that work? It wouldn't take weight off any of her at all, would it? This cow had laminitis in both of these claws and she had very, very thin soles. We had no way to get the pressure off both of her feet. So what we did instead was put rubber soles on her to thicken up her soles. And we put glue around the outer wall to hold that wall structure together because it was in serious jeopardy of completely splintering off and being irreparable. This cow is going perfectly well on this front right. She's just back in to get that block replaced on the back left. So you guys on Instagram wondering why I put two blocks on. The answer is she had thin soles on both of these claws and laminitis right around the sides. So the glue helps the laminitis and the blocks relieve the pedal bone of pressure from below. It's kind of like walking on Air Max. Let's replace the block though. Nice new block fit, that'll give that time go stronger and tougher. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> well, that's us done at farm number one. We're off to farm number two where there's a lot more cows to be done. There was only about maybe 10 here. There should be at least 40 at the next farm. Time to wash up. Whether we have one, two, or even three farms in a day, we always wash up as perfectly as possible. I look into your eyes. I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame Nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see Somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose too fast Maybe we got too high But I That's brighter. But I still miss the way the way you used to feel. Maybe we roll so fast. I've seen the future and it's stroop waffles. 
These things are awesome. Like, really awesome. Well, that stuff will bring it cold. That didn't go as planned. to get ourselves some cows. Hello ladies, you're coming with us. While Graham gets the cows in, I stand here so the cows don't come this way, they go that way. Three cow, four cow. Five cow, six cow. Come on. Come on, girls. Take a left up to the parlour. Not my left, your left. Come on, girl. That's a girl. Girls, uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Keep stealing Grim's phrases today. So this is Craig halfway through trimming this cow's front right foot, and he's discovered that she has a problem with the white line. And as always, I'm looking over his shoulder just to make sure he does exactly as I would do. So let's just pause it there and explain what's happening. Anytime Craig gets a problem foot, he calls on my assistance just to check that he's done everything that I would have done as well. And in this case, while Craig has done a great functional trim and this cow would definitely be feeling more comfortable for it, she wouldn't probably heal. So I would go slightly further and that's what I'm just about to demonstrate. Craig genuinely had done a very good functional trim and this cow would be thanking him for what he'd done because she would have been far more comfortable. But where it's possible we want to try to cure these cows and in some cases we need the confidence to know exactly how much further we can go. What you'd done, she would have got better, but I don't think it would have healed, I think it would have come back again, if that makes sense. Wouldn't have took, went as low as this, yeah. I will admit that, because I'd have been worried I took it too far and started the bleeding process before. Uh. I'm only using that green repiderma spray because the iodine bottles run out, but that will also dry out the lesion, it's just it's way more expensive. Coffee time! I can't believe he reckons I should be making the coffee from now on. How do you even work this? What's this? Graham, you're making coffees! 
Nice. Just like Craig is, this is beneath me. So, how do you feel I've improved over the last year? Zero. No. Still room for improvement? Yeah. Lots of them. Craig's always getting better at hoof trimming and he is really good at hoof trimming. But he doesn't quite have enough confidence yet in himself, do you? No. It's partly my fault though, to be honest, because I'm here all the time looking over his shoulder. And if he was out on his own and just had to get on with it, then he would build his confidence much quicker because he would have to. I wouldn't be as far as I am right now without all the training you've given. Let's get back to work. I know at times it may seem like I take my job lightly, but I can assure you that the care of these cows is my absolute priority and despite my lightheartedness, I take my job incredibly seriously. <sighs> Last cow of the day. This cow has a very long term and permanent foot problem, which is why this block has been on so long and the back of it has completely worn away. But now she's walking very uncomfortably because of the lack of support in her heel. So we need to take this off and see what's to do. bruising in this part of the foot so we need to make sure the weight is spread evenly all the way down here so this time we're going to put a block from here all the way back to here to get the weight spread over this part this part and this part and that should stop the bruising in its tracks This cow has tonicosis and she's had it for an awful long time. It flares up, it goes down, it flares up, it goes down. And this is the kind of problem that she will probably have forever. Not much left of it, is there? That's it from us. Two farms done. 40 cows, trim, block, wraps, the lot. Time to get washed down and get heading home. It's been a good day. That is how your discs should look after every single farm that you trim at. Like new. These discs are three or four years old, believe it or not. And still in perfect shape. Bye!